And we've reached the end of the third. Pacers lead by five. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And I can't quit. All I know is... Thanks for joining us again as we get set for the fourth quarter. A terrific game so far. Indiana leading by five. Lawson out there with Rodney Stuckey. Then there's C.J. Miles. Then there's Hill. And it's Turner in at the center. That's the Pacers' five. Now here is Hill. 13 feet away. And it's good off the bat rim and in. Miles has got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Pacers. There's this passes to Bass. There's the pick. He feeds it to Williams. Offensive rebound. Nance, no good. Pacer shooting here, about 46% for the game. Stuckey into the lane. Kicks to Turner. Hill has the open look. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Lakers trail by seven. Russell with it. Now Lawson defending. Here's Williams. No good off the front iron. And if the shot's not there, you've got to understand that move the basketball. Yeah, exactly. And I'm not quite sure what his mindset or what he was thinking there. I mean, that was just a terrible shot. Hey, guys, the Lakers last season were just a completely different team after Kobe's injury. Not, not so much in results, but just in how they played on the floor. They actually fared better without Kobe than most thought they would. And for the Lakers without Kobe last season, it was really a, a stark difference in styles of play and quality. No single person Clark stepped in to carry their offense. It took a group effort. Well, you know, it was almost April, Kevin, before somebody surpassed Kobe in field goal attempts on mm. the team. Um, it'll be interesting to see how they build the offense. So he gets them both. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. Out that one, the Indiana lead has been cut down now to just seven on the basket from Russell. Not an easy finish right there, but a beautiful move to give himself just enough space to get in close and knock it down. Russell against Hill. It's Miles atop the key. Shot clock at five. They set the pick. Here's Stucking. And misses it off the right side of the rim. That's one he knows he should have drained. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. You know, not really a significant margin in terms of them rebounding, but enough to get the job done. Yeah, but one more advantage in the stat column, and that's what's translated to this lead. Now, here is Russell, following the miss by Rodney Stuckey. Comes up empty, and he's now five for eight. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Turner with a screen for George, dishes it to Miles. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Miles has got the lead up to nine now for the Pacers. And he came off that screen, and the D just didn't get over the top of it. Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge, Greg. And when that's the case, you can mark those up for him. You know, I, I can think of one way to describe George Hill, but it's the culmination of several attributes. I mean, he comes from the school of Popovich, plays under control, always in the right place defensively. The way I describe him is just steady.
let's get this update now from Doris Burke who's across the way on the sideline. Yes, during that break, Coach Byron Scott had some words for his team. He told his players, guys, we're letting opportunities slip away in transition. Let's push it up the floor, look to score some points in early offense. Kevin, can they pick up the tempo? Catching up on the changes now for Indiana. Miami comes in for Turner. And LaVoy Allen subbed in for C.J. Miles. Now here's Randall. The feed to Clarkson. Cranes the three-pointer. An interesting thing about George Hill, he was traded from the Spurs to the Pacers a few years back. Many people were surprised the Spurs would even trade a valuable veteran when they were trying to win a championship. But who did they trade him for? Kawhi Leonard. A pretty good deal. <laughs> well, you know, Hill is really solid. He knocks down open shots, can run the offense, or play off the ball equally well. I think he's a terrific combo guard. Gives you a little bit of everything and does it in a professional way. And that's typically what attracts him to other teams. It's been tough for them to try to slow down George. Ten points, and he's added a steal to his stat line also. You know what? The number is not huge, but he has been doing some valuable defensive work for them. Monte Ellis, he's checked in for Indiana. The Lakers also with a sub. Ryan, he's checked in for Nance. And both free throws, good for Paul George. There's not a lot you can say that hasn't been said before about his skill at the charity strike. Lakers trail by eight. Kobe goes in. In the corner, it's Clarkson. Lots of room. The Pacers pull it in. Mahimi's got three rebounds so far in the game. Now, here is George. He started close to Forget about the net. And agility. This big fellow is all about power and force. Kobe against George. Can't cash in from the high post. Pacers leading by 10. To the middle. And Monte Ellis, the bucket on the assist by George. George has got three assists tonight. And he's showing signs now Two of minutes. life after going scoreless through the half. Now here's Bryant. And he gets it to go. And when he breaks out the crossover, you can be sure he's going to leave somebody in his wake. The free throw drops for Kobe. We've got 155 left in the fourth quarter. Hill with it. Left side, George. Rebounded by the Lakers. Randall's got his third rebound on the night. Kobe against Ellis. Bryant drives in. Count that one. Bryant's got five points in the quarter. What do you do with that guy? With his handles, he abuses defenders. Here's Hill. Ellis outside. Six to shoot. And he was camped in the lane there, and he gets the three-second call.
Outside, Kobe. We've got 108 left in the fourth quarter of this one, and a missed late. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. And, guys, you know that rebounding is a huge part, a huge component of winning games. It's not a glamour stat, but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team. Allen, that's good. Superb playmaking from Monte Ellis. That dish was right on time. Fifty-one seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Boy, there was no hand in his face right there. I thought for sure he was going to knock that down. And the shot is good. And the Pacers lead by 11. And they're not finished just yet. They're going to make sure about this win. Yeah, not taking any chances, Greg. This is how you close a game out. Textbook. Oh, terrific way to finish that move there, going to the basket. Guys, you've got to think a basket here would seal it. No question about it. That would be all she wrote. Hill kicks to George. The dish to Allen. That one off the back iron and out. This game's finally gotten away from him. Yeah, it certainly has. I mean, there's not really much they can do at this point. Outside Hill. So it's Indiana picking up the win. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. They certainly put on a good show here at home and I think they felt they had the edge and that extra little bit of confidence. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke who's standing by on the sideline, of course. Guys, Paul George standing by with me here. And Paul, first, congratulations on the win. What's the attitude you have as a team right now? We continue to you know, play together. And we can just stick to that, keep working, staying confident, keep defending, um, and knocking shots down. We'll be all right. Paul, thank you so much. Guys, over to you. All right, Doris, great job. Thanks so much. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. So long. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Ernie Johnson here again with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny Smith. Without further ado, let's present to you our Jordan player of the game, Paul George. He notched his season high, and his scoring really seemed to set the tempo for his team tonight. I don't know if there's a fan base that loves their star more than this crowd. Wow. You get jealous. He feeds off that support. Once they got behind him, he became unstoppable, man. Well, Paul George showing us again tonight why he is one of the premier wing players in the NBA. We know that defensively, he's always going to do the job, but he's just as valuable on the other end, scoring off the catch or the dribble. And folks, that'll wrap it up for tonight. We hope you enjoyed the game. For Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Ernie Johnson. Have a good evening.